Hello, you guys. Um, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the money and luck forecast for the Sagittarius for the month of April 2016. Um, this should be a quick five card spread. It's just going to be a general reading. If you need a more personalized money reading, definitely contact me at my website in the video description box um, at thedivinemommy.com. Um, so we're going to be looking at your current finances, Sagittarius. Um, your current, not your fine, but your foundation. So basically your current um, financial situation. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling. Um, also, just to remind you, definitely um, go and subscribe to the Gypsy Tarot channel because that's where a majority of my money and other readings are going to go. Okay. So um, I am going to go ahead and start shuffling. And we're going to be looking at the Sagittarius for the month of April 2016. Um, what is the current financial foundation? Um, will money be coming into Sagittarius's life very soon? Uh, which money opportunities should be considered more closely? Okay, who or what project will bring in more money? Okay, and then we'll also look at the outcome for the month of April. I keep getting that three of wands. It keeps coming up. Wow. All right, so let's look at card number one. We got the three of wands, okay? Um, I think it's because a lot of people are doing these, doing web-based businesses, you know, that's what I do as well. So there's a lot of people out there, there's a lot of Sagittarians out there. Um, you um, could currently work at a desk job, you know, maybe you're having doubts about your current job. Um, you're searching for something, you're searching for a solution to earn you more money. Um, you might be creating something, uh, working on a project, a collaboration with some people. And, you know, maybe, um, you know, you've just started something new. It's a really positive energy, the Three of Wands, because, you know, it's all about creativity and um, collaboration. You know, this is about you know, laying down the the seeds for long-term success. And there was an offer, okay, about a new project. Um, probably a couple of weeks ago, you just got the offer. Um, card number two is, will money be coming into your life very soon? And the answer is yes, because you did get the justice card based upon the other cards surrounding it. Now, I do want to tell you this is that it's going to depend on your energy because the justice card is about karma. So whatever it is that you deserve is what you get. So it's all about the energy that you put out there. You know, are you putting out good, clean, positive energy? Um, or are you neutralizing the negative energy? So, you know, this is what the Justice card is about. Um, traditionally, now in the pagan, um, the pagan world, Um, justice is the rule of three. What you create returns threefold. So this is about you creating your own karma. Okay? Just simply put. Um, so this card is, you know, indicative of a major um, life event. This is a chance for you to, um, you know, manifest your... your um, You know, your your destiny, your environment. Okay, it's all about what you are creating for yourself. Um, and as far as with finances in particular, 
Um, <clears throat> this is a yes or no answer. More than likely, yes. <laughs> um, as far as with finances, this is a good time for games of chance. Very often when this card appears in the context of money, it can mean that a usually fair uh, windfall is coming your way. Even if you don't gamble, but if you do, I can see you getting a big payoff, Sagittarius, in the month of April. But again, it's going to depend on what you put out there, okay? Um, so you just want to make sure that you use it wisely and use the money wisely that you have come in this month. Um, card number three is, um, you know, what you should consider more closely. And you got the strength card. So you need to consider, I can see a lot of you Sagittarius is considering working with animals because you love animals. You know, this is, this is actually a direct indication of you know, working with animals, working with, working maybe at, I don't know, maybe breeding animals. You might be, you know, doing some breeding, maybe. Um, some, some really, you know, how they breed the, the special breeds of dogs or whatever you call them, special whatever, but um, the strength card is a really, really, really positive card. But, um, you know, I'm looking at other things um, about this card. This is about mind over matter. This is about nothing to fear but fear itself. So, again, another major arcana came up here um, letting you know that <clears throat> you need to let go of some fears. Okay? So, that's a big uh, lesson with the strength card in the uh, traditional tarot. Um, this is about trust and patience and peace and adaptability. And your manifestation of your strength and not your power. So this is your ability to adapt to your surroundings and make the best of it. You know. Um, so that's that's a really challenging position that this woman is in because she has bears and, and all sorts of other wild animals. She's got a dog, a fox. You know some squirrels but she also has um you know some flowers at her feet so they're really responding to her very well because you know her energy is so peaceful and she's just connected with everything around her um card number four is who or what project will bring in more money and that's really interesting, Sagittarius, that you got the death card. So this is another major arcana. <clears throat> the death card represents transformation. So this is, you know, like um, a moth turning to a butterfly. Um, in the in the tarot, I'm sorry, in the pagan tarot, the death card is about transformation, rebirth, and freedom. So I'm gonna say that for this, for this, in this position, and this is generally for every um, Sagittarius. Um, 
whatever field you go into, it's going to liberate you. So um, you may want to go for the liberating one. Um, and you're not really sure where you want to go. You're kind of, you're kind of, you know, having doubts about the decisions that you're making. And um, so for your final outcome, Sagittarius, you did get this Two of Swords. So there's a decision that you need to make. And it's not an easy one. But you're definitely going to make a conscious decision. And you're going to achieve the balance that you want. Um, in particular with um, finances. Um, this means that things should definitely go well for you in the month of April, Sagittarius. The Two of Swords does point to balance, um, in particular with finances. Um, this shows a need for balance and caution. So make sure you know where um, you are money-wise to the penny. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you need extra income, just be confident that you can make it happen. You just have to be creative. And the easiest thing to do is cut your expenses. Okay? What are you spending that is not absolutely necessary? And you just want to make sure that you pay attention and balance your books, okay? But when we when we say balance and caution, um, that means don't spend too much of the you know wrong amount on the wrong things. Don't overindulge, okay? Because um, there <clears throat> there could possibly be some sort of um, rainy day coming up. Okay, so just make sure that you're saving for a rainy day. All right, Sagittarius, if you enjoyed this reading, definitely go to my website to get a personalized reading. I highly recommend it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Thumbs this video up. Also, just to remind you again, go to the Gypsy Tarot channel and make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.